The September update in Red Dead Online brought about three new missions under the name Skelding's Contract, and while those are fun in their own regard, I personally really enjoyed the new McFarlane's Ranch robbery mission that also came into the game with that recent update, and today on the show we're going to play through the McFarlane's Ranch heist mission on Ruthless Difficulty in live gameplay format, and you'll be able to see all the fantastic western combat that ensues in this video, as well as also see my strategy for approaching a robbery like this. As we get into it, I would love to know your thoughts on this updated mission in the comments below, and with that said, let's get started. If you enjoyed this video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. And here we have the one horse deal telegram mission, but this time it's at McFarland's ranch. So we are stealing an Arabian horse from McFarland's ranch. It's the McFarland's ranch robbery, right? This is something that I think players were really excited to see when it came out because it was, some said it was a glorified stranger mission in which I'm inclined to agree with in some ways because it appears that way. But in terms of the depth of the mission and the amount of enemies, it is a larger scaled mission. It's just like a five star legendary bounty. It's just like a ruthless difficulty the opportunity you're not going to get done with it in two minutes like you can do you know speed running a stranger mission and when you're playing on mcfarland's ranch this is honestly really fun it's like one big arena so something i kind of just want to try out real quick oh all right i was gonna say maybe we can opt for a little bit of a stealth approach but it appears as though that is not gonna happen because we've already been figured out and this is also something i didn't realize when i was playing on the easier difficulties these guys are coming in on the train and they're already fully loaded with weapons. That's actually really cool. This, I don't, I don't remember this happening on when I was playing on standard and hard difficulty. This just seems, maybe it only happens on Ruthless or something, but either way, we're gonna go in on foot here. It's set up very similar to when you were playing at Emerald Ranch and Emerald Station. The horse is gonna be in any one of three locations and you're gonna need to find that Arabian horse and then deliver it. And actually what's really cool about this mission is besides it just being in a different area and you know it feeling new in that regard the horse that you're stealing is actually new as well or it's just different than what we've seen you can't get this horse in online i don't know which arabian horse this is but this is not an arabian horse that you can actually buy from the stables it's not the white arabian it's not the black arabian and it's not the red chestnut either i think it's in the story mode it has to be in the story mode that's for sure it wasn't just added for the purpose of this update but the fact that you know we steal this horse right maybe like if we did this mission 50 times or 100 times or something just to reward the the real grinders it would be kind of cool if you kind of got this as a free unlock or something i feel like that would be kind of neat but when we actually find this horse you'll see what i'm talking about the fact that it actually is different it's like a i don't want to call it a strawberry roan it's not a strawberry roan it's more of like a slightly grayish coat with that amber strawberry mane and tail so it is a very unique looking arabian and it's the one arabian honestly that i i can't hit this guy <laughs> it's the one arabian in this game that if i saw this at the stables i would actually keep it you know i would purchase that arabian and keep it in my stables i used to have a white arabian on pc and i still have a black arabian on ps4 when i play on that every now and again but I just don't like keeping the Arabian horses in my stables. I like the Turkmen's. You guys know me. I'm a huge Turkmen fanboy in this game. And so I have the Chestnut Turkmen. I have the Dark Bay Turkmen, which is just the brand one. I have the Silver Gray Turkmen. And I have the Gold Turkmen. I'd love to get the Black Turkmen and just the Palomino um, Turkmen as well. But I don't have the stable space, so I'm going to need to... Really, realistically, what I'm going to need to do is make space for that horse because I need those horses. You know, the black Turkmen is a beautiful horse, but sort of back to the Arabian here. It's just cool to see that that horse is on this mission. And you'd be inclined to think as well with this mission like, oh, you know, Hazard, you can just go to the objective that's on the map right now and get the horse. One, I want to clear out all the enemies and you can actually do that. It's not infinite spawning like you would think. The opportunity missions, the enemies are actually infinite. Or maybe, maybe on Ruthless they are now. On hard difficulty, when I was just playing it, I was able to eliminate every enemy. They stopped spawning after a certain point. But just like the other missions on Ruthless difficulty, not only do the minimap um, icons of other enemies not show up, but maybe they are just infinite spawning. So we should probably head over there just to check, just to make sure, you know. And, you know, we'll see what kind of type of damage we can cause. Because the horse isn't here, right? It's interesting that this circle still shows up. Like, it wants me to inspect here. It already revealed where the horse's location is over there, and you can see by that yellow icon, so I'm not sure 
why the game is trying to be like, oh, check here anyway. You know, obviously I didn't look there, but the location was already revealed, right? So that was kind of funny, but I'd love to know in the comments what you guys think about these missions. Do you prefer this um, one horse deal mission compared to the one at Emerald Ranch? I think I like this one a little bit more. I like the Braithwaite Mansion robbery also more than the San Denis one. I feel like the one on San Denis, the San Denis police would just come in way too frequently through those doors and while you're looting they just try and kill you and stuff so i wasn't too big of a fan of that one and then when it comes to the outrider mission again let me know in the comments if you guys want to see gameplay of that one as well that's one that i think is honestly freaking unbelievable i love it the other outrider mission i honestly wasn't a huge big fan because it took place in this similar area right it took place from Brittlebrush Trawl, and then you went all the way to Blackwater. And it was a basic mission. You're just riding on the back of a wagon or on the front of the wagon in the seat, shooting a bunch of enemies. And that can actually be a real challenge sometimes. Uh, but the new Outrider one, the Chez Porter one, if you guys haven't played it, you need to give it a shot because it is so much fun. You're in a beautiful area of the map and you go all the way to the loft, which is way up north. If you guys remember when you do the Native American missions in the story mode with Arthur Morgan, it's really, really fun. You, you don't go to a PD, but you go past it. You go, you spawn at that one ginseng farm all the way where you can loot all the ginseng. You pass by Katora Springs, and then you um, cross the bridge and go over to Calumet Ravine, which is a sweet area of the map. Pass with PD, and then you go all the way up to the loft in that north area of the map. Basically where the Virgil Shepherd Edwards legendary bounty takes place. That's sort of where you end up if you get that variant of the mission. And it's it's really fun. I love it. This one's also nice. You know, you can kind of... What's, what's good about this mission, too, is if you're, if you're trying to take your time on this mission, you can. When I'm on horseback, I'm always using Deadeye just to make sure that I can basically make sure I'm hitting my shots and all that because I, I don't want to constantly miss that wouldn't make for fun gameplay and I feel like dead eye is a staple feature in this game it's fun to use you know that that's what makes red dead red dead but you can just hit headshots if you want if you play on free aim again on ruthless difficulty you are on free aim anyway I took the wrong turn here I just like to take a slow trot with this horse honestly because the game sends enough enemies after you you can kind of just coast all the way to the objective you know you don't need to rush if you don't want to which is pretty fun I forgot these enemies spawn up here. Watch out for these guys. It would be kind of nice if they threw dynamite or something at you, like they did in the Red Dead Redemption 1 story when you're crossing over into Mexico, but... Oh! Hello, there's a lot. I actually should be careful here. I wasn't sure if I was going to survive that. <laughs> that guy, he just... That was funny. We used a lot of ammo on this mission, too. We used about 140 rounds so far. Dang. All right, well, let's just get to the objective now. We need to deliver the prize Arabian to Josiah. I much prefer this mission compared to the Emerald Ranch one. I mean, that one's fun, and I'm still going to play it, but maybe just the fact that these are new, since this is my first time playing it on Ruthless Difficulty, that makes it my third time total playing this mission. I probably did the other one horse deal mission maybe, you know, 50 to 75 times over at this point. I play Telegram missions a lot. I do like them. You guys see them in my gameplay in any of my topical gameplays or anything like that, you know, just like videos where I'm coming out with leaks or news or other information, updates, all that. I'll usually jump into Telegram missions for the gameplay just because they're fun to watch, right? It's fun, high action, intense combat, ruthless difficulty missions. And this is just about wrapping up the mission. So far, my mission timer is about eight minutes. If we can get to the nine minute marker, um, in my other video, I said that there wasn't double money and XP and gold because Rockstar said it was only gonna be in the game for two weeks. But it actually appears that we still have double money, XP, and gold because I did that other mission in about, I think it was six minutes or so, or seven or eight minutes or something, and I got 32 gold nuggets. And in between the six and nine minute time frame, you're typically getting 16. So you double that and you get 32. So I guess that's still an opportunity, which is kind of neat. We should only be getting, I think, about the same because I'm just under the nine minute time frame, unfortunately. Or actually, when I started recording, I needed to flee my horse and bring it back because I wanted to use a different one for the gameplay. We're getting 48 gold nuggets because we took uh, 12 to 15, I guess, because it should have been 24 gold nuggets. So, or sorry, 9 to 12, because we took that amount of time, so we're going to get 48. So, that's the mission. It's really fun. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section below, kind of what you think about this mission, about the gameplay, all that. I just really want to see how much money we get as well for about a 9-minute mission here in-game. With double money, 924 XP, $61.84. So, 
not bad in my opinion. So that is all we have for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this live gameplay. If you did and you'd like to see more updated mission gameplay like the new and reimagined Outrider mission or the newer Skeldings contract telegrams, let me know in the comments and I can definitely work on those videos for you. After so long of not having literally anything new to play, it's fun to dig into just a few extra missions like these. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.